So here we go. So after you've tossed all of the uh, TM29s and swapped them with each other, this is going to be the new item underflow menu. So you'll set up underflow the same as usual, you can see I have it, and then you do this. So you swap the TM29 with the calcium, which should be the third to bottom item in your inventory. You're going to take the iron that's directly below it, and you're going to scroll down until you see these three J's. The middle of the three will be this diagonal line kind of three. Um, you swap the iron with the item below it, and then you take the the one with the squiggle three value and you swap it with the X attack. That's the bottom item in your inventory. Then you scroll down, you take the last J, which should be between TM41 and the X attack you just swapped down, and you will swap this with the soul badge that is two items below the bicycle. You'll grab the bike, and then while you're doing this, you'll need to take notice of two things. The first of the two things is the item between the Ultra Balls X0, which is right here. Um, so this glitchy item that I have, and then the Master Ball count. Uh, only the quantity matters on the Master Balls. So I can see from this that I have a bad Master Balls count, and I have a bad Trainer ID item. So I will deal with both of those here and tell you how to deal with that. So anyway, uh, back to what I was talking about earlier. After you swap down and swap the J item with the soul badge, you're going to take the bike. You're going to scroll all the way to the very top. There will be a calcium there, and you're going to swap those. And then as soon as you do that, you're going to back all the way out of the menu, walk one tile to the right, one tile down, go down to options and switch it to fast off set. Then go back to items. You're going to take the antidotes that are right here and you're going to swap them with the great ball if you have bad master balls. So that number I just said was bad, you would swap with the great balls. But if the value is good, you'll swap it with the polka dolls. So, because it was bad, I will swap it with the Great Balls. I'm also going to make a safe state here, so I can go right back. So again, I had a bad count, so I swap with that. Then you're going to scroll down to the Ice Heels, and you're going to swap those with either of the two cancels in the rival name. Either of them, it doesn't matter which one. I'll pick this one. And then after that, you're going to scroll down to the X attacks, and you're going to toss one of them. And then you're going to scroll down, and if this item right here is bad, the second item in your trainer ID, you're going to swap it with these Master Balls, Master Balls X6. So mine is bad, so I'll swap them with this. If your Master Balls were good, or if the, the glitchy item there wasn't a glitchy item, it was something else, um, you don't actually have to swap it with these Master Balls. It only loses a little time. Uh, if you're not confident, you can just always swap it. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then after that, you grab these rare candies, scroll up. For the uh, J item that you put up here, you'll swap those and toss one. You'll then toss one from the J item right above it. Grab the item in slot two. Now again, if your Master Ball count is bad, like this is five master balls, it's not enough for the run. You're gonna have to scroll all the way down for a really long time here. Scroll all this way down, keep scrolling, and you'll eventually see master balls X zero. And this is enough master balls for the entire run. So if you have a bad number, you have to get those. So now, we'll go back to here. So this is right when I did the antidote for a uh, great ball swap, but let's pretend I have good master balls. Instead, you'll swap it for the pokey dolls. You'll scroll up to the ace heels and swap them for the cancel. Either cancel doesn't matter. Scroll down and toss one from the X attack. Scroll down. Again, if this item's bad, you need to swap it for the master ball X6. Grab the rare candies. Bring those up. Toss one toss from the J's, and then grab the polka dolls, 
and you'll swap them for the master balls that are in your ID, which will be, uh, this number's random. I happen to get five, but that can be any number. So you'll swap for that. And then when you're done, you just teleport out. So now we'll do the whole thing. <laughs> All right. So we'll just pretend that I have a good ID as well as a good master ball count, which is almost always going to be the case. Um, again, if you're not comfortable, you can always just do that extra swap with the ID. Uh, and you only need about 20 master balls. So if you get any more than about 20, you'll just do the menu exactly like this. So TM29 for the calcium, iron for the bottom of the three J items. So for this, then the one that has a quantity of uh, squiggle three for the X attack. Scroll down one more time to this J for the soul badge. You're gonna grab the bike, go all the way to the very top of your inventory, scroll all the way up. For the calcium, you're gonna take the antidotes and swap it for the pokey dolls, and then you're gonna go up to the ice heels Swap it for either of the two cancels. One tile right, one tile down. Fix your options. Scroll down to the X attacks and toss one. Scroll down to the rare candies. Again, if you have a bad item in the second slot of your trainer ID, you can swap it for these master balls, but I'm pretending like I have a good item. So you'll grab the rare candies. Swap them for this J and toss one. Then you'll toss one, or you'll toss the stack of J's above it. And then finally, grab the Master Ball, or the Pokey Dolls, and swap them for the Master Balls in the first slot of your trainer ID. Again, there's the Great Ball swap if this value is bad, but about 90% of the time, this will be a fine number. It'll be above 20, which is all you need. So you do that swap, and then teleport right out of the mark. And that's the underflow menu as we uh, as we currently have it.